Hey there, Cornville kids, and happy Easter. Jesus Christ is alive. And that is such a wonderful thing to be able to say. And because he has risen, we should believe in him. So a couple days ago, we were able to celebrate Palm Sunday. <clears throat> and this is where we celebrate Jesus coming into Jerusalem, riding on a donkey, being celebrated as king. And do you remember what the people shouted as Jesus entered into Jerusalem? That's right. Hosanna. Say that with me. Hosanna. <clears throat> they shouted and they laid their cloaks on the ground as well as palm branches. This Friday we get to celebrate Good Friday. Where Jesus paid the price and took the punishment for our sins on the cross. Bearing the consequences that we so deserve. And then we get to reach the pinnacle of this Easter season by celebrating on Sunday, Easter morning, when Jesus rose again from the dead, came back to life, and celebrate that he is still alive today. And Easter, and Easter is the best day of the year because without Easter, nothing else really matters. And because Jesus rose from the dead, is the Son of God, and took the punishment for our sins, our response should be to believe in Jesus. We all need to believe in Jesus. And there are many, many reasons for this. And right now we're going to focus on just two of those reasons. The first one is that Jesus is the only way we can be saved. Second, anyone who wants to be saved will be saved. <clears throat> All right, Jesus is the only way we can be saved. Look with me now to Acts 4.12. Acts 4.12. Turn with her with me. And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. In this verse, Peter and John had just been arrested for proclaiming the name of Jesus, and they were speaking before the religious leaders of their day, giving an account and the defense of what they were saying. And part of that is the verse that we just read. And there is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. Jesus is the only way we can have eternal life, and Jesus is the only way we can be saved from the consequences of our sins. The consequences being eternal separation from God in hell. Jesus was the only way to be saved back then. Jesus is the only way to be saved right now. And Jesus is the only way, say only way, only way anyone will ever be saved. Why should we believe in Jesus? Because Jesus is the only way we can be saved. The second reason we should believe in Jesus is anyone who wants to be saved will be saved. So turn with me now to just a few books later to Romans. Romans 10, 13 says this. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. The chance, the opportunity to believe in Jesus is open to each and every person. Meaning if you are a Christian, you have already accepted the Lord's invitation to salvation, which is fantastic. That is the best and most important decision you will ever make. But if you're not a Christian, you face the consequences of your sins. The consequences that Jesus came to save, you'll face them because of your own choice not to believe in Jesus. But the opportunity, the chance to believe in Jesus is still there for you. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And if you're not a Christian, if you haven't given your life to Christ, the Bible is clear, so clear on how we can be saved. See, Romans 10, 9 says this. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. I'll read that one more time. <clears throat> Romans 10, 9. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And if that's something you would like to do, if you would like to confess with your mouth, that Jesus is Lord, so that you can be saved, we're going to have that chance in just a moment. I'm going to say a prayer, and you can repeat those words after me. 
But just remember, it's not the prayer or the words that save you. It's the heart behind it. It's the belief and the surrender in your heart, knowing that Jesus is Lord and he saved you from your sins. So if you would like to pray with me right now and receive the free gift of salvation, repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I admit that I am a sinner and in need of a savior. I believe that you came to earth to die for my sins. I believe that you rose again from the dead. I repent or turn away from my sins. I receive you to come into my heart and life. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I want to trust and follow you forever. In your name I pray. Amen. If you just prayed that prayer, wow. Will you go and tell someone, your dad, your mom, grandma, grandpa, uncle, aunt, a family member, someone at church, me, just someone. Be sure to tell someone if you just prayed that and accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You just made the best decision of your life. And congratulations on that. All right, now before we go today, I just want to mention a few things happening here at the church this week that you're going to want to be sure not to miss out on. Christ's Final Hours is happening Wednesday and Thursday from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. and Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. This is a self-guided walkthrough happening at Corndale that will take you through the final hours of Christ's life leading up to the cross. Then on Good Friday, we have Good Friday services starting at 5 p.m. and another one at 6.30 p.m. And then finishing it all off with our Easter Sunday services at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Please join us this week as we celebrate all that Jesus has done for us. Hope you have a great Holy Week. See you next time.